most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Brett Thackeron. It is great to be with all of you as we continue to watch Hurricane Ian. Today is going to be really a, a, a terrible day for Florida and Floridians as they deal with uh, a massive uh, hurricane, which uh, uh, again, especially on that side of Florida, that western coast, uh, not uh, not too often does a hurricane like this one hit there. We're going to focus on that and then look at Ian's impacts going into the weekend. It does look like a wet weekend for us, and we will get into that. In the meantime, today, a pretty nice day. We've got some clouds around, especially north and west of Harrisburg in Lewistown. Murph Radio, 46 degrees with a dew point of 46. It is chilly out. And it is going to remain that way here today with temperatures again in the 60s. Sat outside last night for a little bit and got a chill in the air and then a passing shower came on through where I was. So I think more of the same today. There could be a few stray showers. Remember, we did mention that yesterday with this upper level low, but I want to highlight it again today because I think uh, for some of us uh, may have caught a few people off guard yesterday, but we did mention it and we're going to mention it again today. Notice the clouds dropping in from the north. So we've got temperatures uh, chilly morning out there with uh, temperatures dropping into the 40s. How about 44 in Lebanon and York this morning? Harrisburg holding out at 51 degrees for now, but it is chillier than yesterday by about 5 to 10 degrees. 13 degrees colder in York than yesterday. We only hit 68. We did pick up a little bit of measurable rain at the airport, just one one hundredth of an inch, and we continue to trend toward being in the in the uh, in the hole by about two inches for the year. That's significant this late into the year, so we can use some rain. We may get a couple more showers today. This upper low continues to spin and you can see it. It has been kind of a wet period for New York State, but some of the some of the instability in the showers may drop far enough south to clip our region again today. I think it's possible this afternoon. It's also going to be breezy, but this remains cool. Notice highs in the 40s, 50s, some 60s here. Look at Charleston, West Virginia, only at 61. We will be in the 60s here again today, making for a cool day. Showers, breezy conditions wrapping around that low. Ian's track. It looks like it is going to arrive for us this weekend. Saturday does look wet now. Sunday looks damp. This is going to stall out a bit into early next week. So in the meantime, partly cloudy this afternoon. A few showers, especially across our northern tier. Certainly possible they will be brief and not amount to much rain like yesterday. A few thin cirrus clouds tomorrow, but it should be another nice day and it should stay dry tomorrow. We're going to see the breeze kick around too as we move into today. Another day where that north wind picks up. And by the way, that's going to pick up again as we move into Thursday and again here on Friday. So I'll tell you what, it looks pretty gusty as we move into Friday and the weekend with uh, the remnants of Ian working its way up the coast. So let's give you the latest on that now as we take a look at Florida. Ian battering the state. And remember, it doesn't have to make landfall for there to be big problems. There already is, and it is sitting offshore. It's going to curve in and make landfall later today. 120 mile an hour winds right now. The pressure dropping at 953 millibars. This will hit as a Category 3 or 4 storm and then continue to work its way up toward us by the weekend, stalling out just south of us through the weekend. So watch what happens here. It's going to hit Florida later today, affect the southeast here over the weekend, and then by Friday night, and it looks like Saturday now, we are going to start to see the rain develop across southern PA. This will continue through Saturday evening and then stalls out with a few showers Sunday and then an east wind and some drizzle lingering all the way into Monday and perhaps even Tuesday morning. What does that mean in terms of rainfall for us? Well, here's the good news. We can handle it. Remember, we have a two inch deficit. The best chance to see an inch of rain looks to be south of Route 30. A sharp gradient to this means some of our northern tier counties may not see a lot of rain at all here from Ian. So it's something that we will be watching, but it is going to make for a damp weekend. So hopefully your plans are indoors because we are going to get this needed rainfall from Ian. And it doesn't look like it will cause too many issues for us, but it does look like it is going to stall out into next week. So we'll be watching that closely and fine tuning things as we go. Sounds good. Thank you, Brett. You got it. We'll be right back.